Hey guys, welcome to Automotors Technica. And in this video, we are going to show the Mad Dog Scout X uh, fitment on the uh, X Pulse 4V. So I have used the clamp, uh, and the Mad Dog has been already been fitted. And the thing is, both the sets have done it. So this comes up, and the Mad Dog comes at the bottom, so that I can have an angle. So uh, it will not hit the people's eyes. So I can put it down as possible. Now, how the wiring is done? So the wiring, the braided wire, which is the Pro X Harnix, is run from the battery. This is the battery terminal, and these are the plus and this is minus of the battery terminal. So this is the red wire of the harness, and the black wire is pushed from bottom of the chassis. The relay is here. This runs under the chassis and it comes out on the other part of the chassis that is here so this is the one and it runs under the parallel to the wiring loom this is the one and there are three fringes here two for the auxiliary and one for the switch so the switch is connected here the switch wire is uh, still open i am going to uh, put it at this lug so this is out coming from the kib and the switch uh, terminal goes to the ignition that is the red one the red one with the black line so to access this socket i have to remove the headlight i have to remove the a meter for easy access so this is the meter connector and this is the headlight connector so it's easy to remove the headlight you have to open the four screws here one two and similarly three and four and just pull it just pull this the headlight comes out easily no need to juggle well uh, these are the connectors which are uh, to, to to the Scout X. I have not tightened it fully because I have to adjust this. And this is for the switch. So connection is almost done. And I have to connect it to the battery terminal. So this, this is the fuse which Mad Dogs gives. And I had one problem here that the Mad Dog uh, harness was uh, the braided had come out of the uh, heat shrink and I had put a zip tie there it's white color so that the braid doesn't go off and I'll keep this in a, some kind of a plastic container and put it here so that it's safe so the tank has been removed for easy accessibility this is the fuel pump the fuel lines and the breathers are here so totally four of them one, two, is here, two and three and four. So this is one, two, three, and the pump lines. That is the pump electric current, a uh, pump control, and uh, uh, the average and uh, the level gauge. Uh, these are the signals here. So this is the ECU, no need to touch the ECU. Well, I'm going to connect this to the battery lug and let's see how it works. So the bike is ready and uh, the bubble charger is also ready directly connected to the battery here. This is the plus and this is the minus. And just to test the mad dog lights switch is here on and off so i'm just going to switch off this engine because i don't have the tank and it might log a dtd see uh, error codes diagnostic trouble codes so i don't want to do that and here is the final look of the mad dog lights it should be below the headlight well uh, let me check the headlight it was removed and yeah That, that's fine i believe yeah that's good so stay tuned uh, for more updates if you like my videos push the thumbs up button and 
Stay blessed. So guys, here is the completion of Mad Dog's Caltex fitment to expels and it looks really, really awesome because it looks like uh, out of uh, the company. It's not, doesn't fit, look like an aftermarket fitment. And if you see, I have put a Project 83X uh, grill. So this grill protects you from all the dirt and uh, small, small pebbles which are uh, coming out from the tires of your trucks on the highway. and yeah the chances of uh, getting this protected is approximately 50 percent because here there is a uh, there are certain uh, holes just to see the light otherwise the whole uh, acrylic shield will not uh, pass the light so i prefer uh, such kind of a grill this looks better on uh, such a dual sport adv well uh, as part from the wiring hardness it is here the extra wiring harness are here and one goes to the switch and two goes to the led fog lamps it's a fog lamp come it's a auxiliary lamp it uh, happens to be a dual one so i put a filter here this is a white filter for acts as an auxiliary and if you put a yellow filter it becomes a fog lamp so that's a uh, two upgrade and the last upgrade is the bobo charger which is connected to the battery and there is a switch here at the bottom so here is the switch and you'll get a 5 volt uh, fast charging uh, and the, uh, 5 volt is a medium and yes uh, qc 3.0 means it is a fast charger it goes up to the 9 volts so i'm yet to test this and uh, it is working and charging the mobile at uh, 5 volts as well i have not uh, tested whether it goes up to the 9, nine volts i'll just uh, do another uh, video of it going forward and yeah the mad dog switch with the pro harness is here so whenever i need uh, the actually extra lights i switch it on from here uh, this should have been fitted at this point provided i had a space here but it will uh, touch the wiring uh, for the switch so i would not want it to put it here place it at the right a uh, safe place and uh, the wire is guided to the slot and uh, that's all guys and if you like my videos Please push the thumbs up button and stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to my channel Automotive Technica and stay blessed.